I just wanted to show you something I picked up on my uh, trip down down south to visit my daughter. I found a little uh, game store. I've never seen these before. I'm sure they were popular though, but Dungeon Master Adventure Log. Uh, there isn't really a lot to see here. I just picked it up and I thought it was kind of neat. And I thought it might require an explanation for younger players that don't quite understand why someone would spend money buying a uh, book of just tables. Like, this is just for your game. This is kind of cute. I found this part in here. I like this. They have uh, somebody used it. And so we've got Darien Triaxton, Sir Wilford of Ivanhoe, Zeltar, and Death. Not something like that. Anyway, I thought this was cool. It's somebody's game. So I thought that was a neat touch. But yeah, I just thought, to, oh yeah, there's a second one here too. Eleni Dale Zoltar Rasputin. And somebody, their name is just one. <laughs> like that Tom, his name is just one. I don't know if it was more than that or not. But anyway, these were used a couple. A couple of these were used, but mostly they're blank. Anyway, it shows how to use them in the back. This would be an example. You'd have your character's name, and you'd have their class and their race. And it's just to keep track of what's going on in the game. Then you have your monsters, so you can have uh, keep track of the fights and your marching order. And it's kind of neat in the back. It's got some weapons, sort of showing some weapons. I guess they just wanted to add a little more stuff to it some references movement uh getting lost becoming lost that kind of thing this is obviously for uh first edition dungeons and dragons and then here experience points value for monsters uh hiring non-player characters just some little notes that easy quick reference this is kind of neat I like this the barding but i thought i would explain that Back when this game first came out, people didn't have computers all over the place. And so laying out this stuff was quite difficult. You had to do it all by hand. You couldn't just use Adobe or something like that to create a sheet like this. So it was actually quite helpful if somebody wanted something like this was to pick up a book like this that had these sheets in it. Now, obviously, you could just photocopy these then. So you didn't. You only needed to buy the sheet once. But it was quite difficult to make these. Now, of course, you just whip one off on a computer. It's pretty simple to make a sheet like that. In fact, I have an example here of one that I made uh, for second edition D&D, &D, if I can find it here quickly enough. Whoops. Uh, where is it? I should have pulled it out beforehand. I wasn't thinking. It just occurred to me, hey... I've got sheets that I made. Yeah, here they are. All right, so I made this for the second edition and I made it I made it with graph paper. So it's sort of a very similar idea that I made it on graph paper. And just printed out the different things so I could, you know, I found this incredibly helpful, this sheet. And, uh, oh, I think this is actually the original one. Yeah, it is too. I believe. Anyway, and then I just photocopied them and used them for my games. And then I could just pull them out, write down everybody's name in there, keep track of marching order, all that kind of stuff. But it was pretty tough to make. So now you just whip it out on a computer, but that's the idea behind this. So you may see something like this in a store and wonder why the heck would somebody buy that. But that's why, because it was actually tough to make. And then when I worked uh, in graphic arts, you'd actually have to, you know, use tape and stuff and tape things together and then photocopy it, try and make, a, make something like this. So, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd check. I would just uh, share that. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a fun little uh, thing that I picked up. It's from 1980, TSR Games. Gotta love it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like and a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll talk to you later.